Welcome back loyalty here I am in Photoshop and I want to show you guys just something really quick now I'm supposed to be doing another video but that video is probably gonna come out tomorrow so make sure that you're bailed for that one but the reason why I'm not doing it today is because basically the shirt that I'm trying to use is kind of wet and I have to wait for it to dry and that kind of happens sometimes but once that finishes up I'm gonna work on this but I want to work on this one real quick and show you guys how to remove like stuff like this from your shirt I'm gonna take the patch tool real quick and I'm just show you guys exactly what you need to do you just need to go around with the patch tool make sure that you're not going too far out or anything like that just go around come back around this way okay and then lock that thing up like that and with this you'll be able to move this up or down and as you can see it's getting rid of that image down there so if i let this go right here it's as if it didn't even exist right so if i open up the histories panel and I click on the original image, this is what we have. But if I click on the deselect, this is what we're ending up with. And that's pretty powerful in its own, you guys. That's pretty quick and simple, right? Let me try this on another shirt, right? So this is just an all-white background. I'm going to go ahead and hit Command-J this time. And I'm going to zoom in. If I use the patch tool to just go around where it says, not your baby, and just move this down here like this, it took it right out the shirt. It's almost as if it was never there in the beginning. That's pretty powerful for you guys. I'm pretty sure that's going to help you guys out. This is a very quick tip. This guy right here, he has polo on his shirt, right? With the patch tool, if I circle around it, move it up, gone. It's just a regular white shirt now. Here's one that's just a little bit more challenging. If I hit Command J, let's just say I go around like this, right? Just go all the way around. And I move this one up or down. Like maybe we'll just go down, right? Okay, now we're having some screw ups here. And this is not all that good looking. You have to actually take your time with this one, right? So I'm going to use the patch tool. I'm going to take out the 07 first. Go around like this. And then move the 07 down up under the established. Very seamless, okay? Like there is some problems out here. But if I go up like this and bring this one down here like this you wouldn't even notice that that was even over there okay we can continue just to kind of like take out some imperfections but that's just how the patch tool works you can take out this period bring this period over here like this boom it's gone take out the t move that t over here like this it's done the only problem we're going to have here is this e and i'm going to show you guys that as soon as i get there so let's zoom in. Here's the problem with the E. The E is with the shadows. And if I try to do this with the shadows, we're going to have issues, right? So if I move this over here like this, it's not going to look right. We actually have to move these in with the shadows. And if I try to take this piece by piece, let's just say I do it like this. You know, we're going to have some more issues. Because this is kind of like the content aware, but it's not. We have to be really careful with what we're doing here. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to select out the entire E real quick. And I want to move this with the shadows and not against the shadows and pretty much create kind of like some consistency with this as well because this line right here is going up and the shadows over here are like that as well. I want to make sure that this blends in with this as well. So I'm going to take the E and I'm going to move it down here like so. And that looks pretty seamless like that's for the first time that's not that bad it kind of seamlessly goes through like that wasn't as prominent as it was before that looks pretty good so you guys i hope you like this quick tip and if you did go ahead and thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to me and bail me bail me so i know it's real because i know there's a lot of stuff that i'm trying to put out i'm almost uploading every day now you know and that's kind of crazy in its own because i haven't done this in like maybe a year or so but i'm back to uploading a whole lot more and you guys can follow me on these social media links down here the twitter and the instagram one really just follow me there okay and you guys this is 100 percent up to you if you want to do it but i have a patreon account where i pretty much put all of my mock-ups at you guys can go ahead and get that from there it does cost five dollars a month to get but you're just pretty much supporting me as a channel and me as a company and you're getting the stuff that you want out of it too so hopefully you guys do that and i hope to see you guys there but with that being said you guys have to get up out of here so stay amazing stay credible but above all else stay awesome